Green Bay Packers Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Seaver Polish. Begin by painting your pointer and pinky nails white, your middle nail yellow, and your ring and thumb nails brown. On your pointer and pinky nail, we're going to begin by painting a green oval on the middle of the nail, and you're going to want the oval to be as big as you can fit it so it's going to touch the outside edges. So you want to make sure that you can make the logo as big as you can. And then fill in that oval, and it may take a couple coats. Now I'm going to be outlining my oval with sort of a golden yellow color. And I'm again, because it goes all the way to the outside edges, I'm just going to be outlining the top of the oval and the bottom. And then to make it look almost like it's a sticker and make it pop a little more, I'm going to create a thin black line that goes around the oval, but leaving a thin white line. So don't have it touch the gold, leave just a little bit of a gap. So then in the center, we're going to be painting a large white G and I'm going to begin with the center line, the line that, the, that comes in from the bottom of the G and then paint the top of it up and around. And you can always touch up if your white gets to be too thick or just make a mistake somewhere with a little bit more of your green paint. So then on your middle nail, I'm going to be painting some random sized of that golden yellow color of the dots. And if you're yellow, if you, after you paint it, you're like, this doesn't show up. You could mix a little bit of orange in with your yellow paint to create a little bit deeper of a color and then it'll show up on the yellow a little better. So just fill up that nail with all different spots. These are for holes in your cheese. So then I'm going to do a partial outline around the spots with brown, almost like you're doing a leopard print, but instead of with leopard print, you do different thicknesses around different outlines and you kind of make them a little bit wavy. You want to try and keep these lines smooth, but you don't want to go all the way around the holes or the, yeah, the holes in the cheese, just partially around the holes. And then on your ring and thumbnail, we're going to be doing a football design. So I'm going to start with a white line going right across the top by the cuticle and then across the tip of the nail as well. Once you have that, put a line up the center and create little hashes across it. And then of course, add a layer of top coat. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like my design. Please share any recreations with me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I would love to see them and I will see you in my next video. Bye.